Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Simon from Scar Illustration and I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to talk about art rejection and some of the ways in which I deal with it. Let's dive in. For this video, I decided to show a time lapse of how I typically develop a creative sketch from a rough idea, rather than showing the process from a blank canvas to a finished sketch. The storyline or narrative for the sketch kind of evolved as I was painting it. It's basically about an ordinary man who made a deal with the demon character on the throne sometime in the past to leave his unremarkable life and become a king in his world. But the price would be heavy and unavoidable. If he had a daughter whilst on the throne, then he would have to give her up when she reached adulthood or face an otherworldly wrath and his entire family's destruction. So I'm also going to preface this video by saying that I've been rejected for a ton of things art-wise. From jobs at different companies to private commissions to art competitions. You name it, I've been rejected from it. And more recently, as I do on a regular basis, I put my work forward for some commissions and a juried art competition. As a freelance artist, this is just a necessary component of the business. Unfortunately, pretty much all of the commissions that I put my head in for have, for one reason or another, gone to other artists. As well as that, the painting that I entered into that art competition was also rejected. And not just this year, but for many years. In fact, I've never gotten into this particular art angle. With commissions, I can put that down to the fact that I just wasn't quite right for that particular project. So I don't dwell on those too much. The fact is, is that there's a lot of competition amongst freelance artists. And there's quite a few factors that come into play with commissions, such as the genre, skill level, and personal style. And also, from the client's perspective, risk management as they will usually go with someone who already has exactly the type of art they're looking for and or has worked with that artist before. As for juried competitions and art annuals, well, they're a different kettle of fish entirely. These tend to be about personal preference, market trends, and the type of work that that art annual is interested in promoting and as such, they're somewhat harder to see as objectively, especially after this many attempts. In the past, I would take these rejections personally, and even find some of them insulting, because, like a lot of artists, my identity and even sense of self-worth was tightly wrapped up in my art. After getting the news that my work had been unsuccessful, I would obsessively look through all the winners, to try and see what these other artists' work had that mine lacked. In some cases, it was pretty easy to see. Things such as the work had more interesting compositions, better use of color, light, anatomy, and reference. But there are always other pieces that I would look at, scratch my head, and wonder why they were accepted over mine. In my mind, I would be thinking, I'm totally okay with my work being rejected so long as the work that was accepted was clearly better than mine. But if it wasn't, then why? Of course, competitions and commission work are about more than just technical skill. They're also about who likes what, the type of work that is more suitable, and current market trends. But the thing about those trends is that eventually everything comes back in fashion. So even if your particular style isn't popular right now, it might well be sometime in the future. I know this isn't particularly encouraging news, especially if you're a full-time artist like myself, and you rely on your art to make a living. But it does take a little bit of the pressure off, knowing that at some point, those no's may well turn into a yes. Pretty early on, I accepted that I would always be a student of my craft and that there was simply never going to be a day when I could say that I knew everything, that I'd conquered the mountain, and that I was now looking for the next challenge. 
For myself, I've been honing my art skills for a long time. For most of my adult life, I had a day job and would spend my evenings and weekends improving my art. Because this is my passion. This is what gets me out of bed in the morning. This is my dream. And I know getting rejected from competitions and commissions sucks. But once I've gotten over most of the disappointment, I see these as only temporary setbacks. Obviously, these opportunities were not right for me in one way or another, which can only mean that the right ones are just waiting in the wings. Bigger picture, whatever happens, I'm still going to be creating art, trying to improve and get better. Regardless of whether or not companies, art juries, or other people like my work, because art is not just simply a job, it's my life. If I've done my best, put in the hours, and I'm proud of my work, then, as far as I'm concerned, I've already won. I'm sure you've read about countless famous people who were rejected many times before they became successful. And their stories all seem to have a couple of things in common. The first was an unwavering belief in themselves. And the second was that they were not going to give up, no matter how long it took, no matter how many rejections they got, no matter what their families or friends thought, or how impossible it seemed to be at the time. Nowadays, I look at rejections differently. I even see them as kind of a badge of honor, because I know that the only way to get to the success that I'm after is to battle the storms of disappointment. And when that day comes, it'll be all the more satisfying. At the end of the day, the art that gets commissioned or is accepted into juried art competitions is somewhat subjective. And I'm not taking anything away from the artists that were successful in both of those endeavors. Every artist wants to be accepted and validated for all the time and effort they put into their work. But the person you are and the value you bring to the world is not tied to the art you create. It's just an added bonus to who you are. Failure and disappointment is just one part of the art game. And they make the winning parts all that much more satisfying when they do happen. Hope this was helpful, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Please consider liking this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a good one, and keep on painting.